reputation in the congregation. I know too much. I had been calling on a young couple that was related to our church who was having some difficulty. Um, and uh, because of some of the program I was doing, I was, I was visiting families and bringing them into the church. It was called an apartment ministry, and I had this organized thing. This couple was having some difficulty, and I was coming home from downtown Indianapolis one evening, and I thought, I was going by not far where they live, and I thought, I'll just stop in and check in on how they're doing. And um, uh, fall of the year, so dark a little early, pulled into the uh, parking lot of this apartment complex, went to the upstairs apartment. This couple knocked on the door, and the wife, who's a couple and two children, met me at the door, and I could tell she was a little upset. As I stepped into the room, the room was filled with smoke. <laughs> and there was a circle of, of people there in the living room uh, doing various and sundry things with tubes that may have been associated with cattle at other times. <laughs> <laughs> and doing, and doing paper bagging and gas masking. I don't know if you know all these kind of things, but you try to get as much inhaled into your system as possible. And I'm, I, I'm sort of there, and I, I see the, the man of the family, and he's in the circle, you know, and he's a, you know, wanting to hand on, and I kind of think, well, this is a little... It's a little difficult, so I thought maybe I better check on the woman and the children. And I went into the room, and they were kind of, at that point, huddled in the bedroom. And said, you know, he's invited all these people over, and I don't know what's going on. And so I was about to suggest that maybe she and the children ought to come with me, and we'll, we'll go somewhere else for a while. And as I was stepping out of the bedroom, where I'd been talking to the woman and the children, someone came running up the stairs and said, it's the police! <laughs> now, being a pastor, seminary student, fully aware of the ramifications, I was seeing already the headlines. Youth pastor at Asbury United Methodist Church arrested in drug raid. So I did what the responsible thing would be as a young pastor. I ran, <laughs> as everyone else was doing, out the back door, you know, and I, I just, I just ran, and we were climbing out, people, I, I ran out the back door, down the steps, into the yard, missed the clothesline, went over the hedge, down the alley, and I had gotten about a block, and then I thought, wait a minute, I parked my car. <laughs> And still, those headlines were looming. The youth pastor arrested in the alley after fleeing. You know, and I thought, what am I going to do? So I, I'm several miles from home, and then I thought, oh, I didn't pay attention to Gloria and her children, and the guilt was creeping in, and I thought, yeah, but if I walk back, then I'm going to smell like I've been in that place. And I, I kept trying to weigh the situation. So I decided I would sneak back to my car. Do you know that it's possible in a 1972 Volkswagen to open the door without the dome light coming on? <laughs> You've got to be quick. <laughs> I crawled up to the car, managed to get the door open, get my finger on the button because I knew where it was, and slipping into the car, holding the button, trying to do all these things, and I got in the car, got the car, door shut. All the police are out there, they're lining up people in the parking lot, and they're sitting there, okay, when do I make my move? <laughs> you know a Volkswagen, what it sounds like? You know? <laughs> so I hesitate. I don't try to the lights on the way. I'm expecting the officers to come rushing toward the Volkswagen, you know. All's well. I ease it out. Slowly, careful, not wanting to break any laws, looking in the looking in the rearview mirrors for headlights. <laughs> I got home. No questions were asked. 
about what happened that night. Nothing was said. I checked the newspapers first thing the next morning. <laughs> watched the news broadcast. Went to my next meeting with the senior pastor and with the church board waiting for the news to come out. I would have been spotted. For weeks after that, I waited for the knock on the door. <laughs> Remember Brown? Does this belong to you? You know, little waiting, assuming that something I left behind, or someone had spotted me, or someone had testified that I was present. And do you know that this day, when I drive through Indianapolis, 